Hello there, welcome back to your channel, I'm the Jedi Master, I hope your day is going well, and today we're going to be talking about Form 3 of the Lightsaber Combat. This is part of our 7 Forms of Lightsaber Combat playlist, and so yeah, let's get right into it. So Form 3 was also known as Sarasu, and the Way of the Minoc, and it was the Defense Form. Now Form 3 came about where pretty much Makashi was failing. So as we know, Makashi was the dueling form, and came about when, you know, the Sith were at large in the Hundred Year War, and so it was designed then. However, when they defeated the Sith, and gunfire was more the thing they needed to worry about, they realised Makashi wasn't actually very good at countering it. It wasn't designed to counter blaster bolts, it was designed in one-on-one -on -one dueling. And so they needed something to say, okay, that's not working, we need to counter that with something else. And this is where Form 3 Suresu came into play. Form 3 Suresu is defensive, and is designed at taking on blaster bolts. There is one major flaw with it, and we will get to that in a second before we're just going to list its strengths first. So Form 3's strengths were, it was heavily defensive, meaning, you know, you could definitely counter anything, you could defend yourself. It was great against Blaster Bolts because they just couldn't get to you, and also it just, you know, was great for the Jedi because it was very peaceful. It really went alongside with the Jedi's, you know, teachings and philosophy. Its flaw is quite a big one, in a sense, and I'm not saying it's terrible, you know, the, the form is actually brilliant, in my opinion. But the flaw kind of weighs it down a bit, and that is it prolongs duels by quite a certain extent. The bad thing about this is, when you're constantly being attacked, you feel very restricted and constrained, contained, constrained, that's the word, to get there eventually. And pretty much the bad thing about this is, you feel like you've got nowhere to go, and you feel in a more panic situation. And in dueling, you don't want to be in that situation. So people that would have to study this form, you have to be very, very good at keeping up calm, dealing with pressure situations, and also, for that matter, having good stamina. You have to be able to, you know, control your stamina, because you're going to be under fire from the start. And some of the, the bad thing about this is, you know, if you do dueling, you know that when someone attacks you and you're parrying, you can kind of feel the force, the blades, like when they clash. And if you're continuously taking this, that's going to kind of tie your arm out, especially when someone uses the falling avalanche move from Form 5, which is where they go over the head, what Anakin did at the start of his duel with Dooku and Revenge of Sith after Kenobi had been immobilised, and he went from the head and just crashed down. That's called the falling avalanche, and we'll get to that more in Gem So. But that's what I like to call blade break, because it can absolutely rip through the defence. Because what it's designed at is knocking the blade out of someone's hand or just absolutely ripping through their defense and really causing them to lose quite a bit of energy from that because they're taking so much force. The problem with that is when you're using Form 3 is Form 3 practitioners never would attack. They would only defend and they would prolong the duel until pretty much their opponent gets tired and then they seize their opportunity and strike and win. The problem with this is you have to be able to be able to conserve your energy and stamina to the point of no return, pretty much. And that will, that's basically saving them out there, you know. They're, they're going up against people who will just attack. They will just constantly attack, and you're just going to defend. And if you've ever, if you're a fencer, and there's no doubt you've probably been in this situation, when you're at the back line, you feel very constrained and restricted. You feel a lot of it. The reason is because you can't go anywhere, and that puts you in a very panical situation. Because you're realising, I can't go anywhere, I have to rely on my parries, I don't really know where they're going to hit. They could go anywhere if they're in Sabre, they can only go into chest and, well, obviously they can also go anywhere in FA, sorry, in Sabre, anything above the waist. And, you know, you have to then rely on your parries. And not everyone likes that, unless you're great at parrying, and that's your strength. Obviously you've got someone like Aaron Sliagi, the Sabre back-to-back three-time champion, Olympic champion. Great at countering, and also brilliant backline defence. But you don't, you don't like the situation. No one really likes being at the back line because you just don't want to be there. Because you've got nowhere to go, and it's really difficult to defend from there. And this is pretty much what they're feeling the whole way through the duel. They're not going to attack. They're just defending. They feel very constrained and restricted. And so, you know, it's not the best of situations to be in unless you're very good at controlling that. And having good stamina and pretty much patience and all that stuff is what saves them out there. And yes... I did say this form is actually brilliant. This form is actually amazing. It's great. It's very good. Its purpose is brilliant. 
and it's very it's going to be very effective in pretty much the galaxy in a whole because you see so much you know you see the you know blasters being used everywhere it's perfect especially in that sense so not to drag it down but its flaw is it prone to dual which can be in effect a major flaw now with all of the forms we're going to list some notable practitioners and start off with the most notable of all kenobi he was a practitioner of form 3 Suresu, and he was an absolute beast we saw him take on anakin in revenge of the sith and remember anakin's an absolutely brilliant jeweler he is one of the greatest duelists in the galaxy, if not the best. Depends on your opinion. I'll let you guys discern that one. And he was a master... I mean, Kenobi was a master of Form 3. Quick thing on Anakin, master of Form 5. We'll get there in a few videos' time. Now, Kenobi was also able to take on Grievous. And as we know, Grievous was a beast. Not many people could do that. The only other people that we know, the only other person we know to be able to beat Grievous was Kit Fisto. Now, Kenobi was able to beat Grievous because of his skill with Form 3. He was so patient, only defending. And he was able to, you know, eventually kind of adapt to the form, and he did attack, yes. But he saw his opportunity from his defence, and saw that slight moment to just gain the upper hand and chop off Grievous' hands, and everything. And this really what, and all this defence is what allowed Kenobi to beat Maul on all three occasions. Well, not all three occasions, he lost. Well, I guess you could say he lost on a few, but, you know, he was able to be more because of his defence, his such solid defence, and that was really where Kenobi shined. His defence was just amazing, except when he took on Dooku, where his defence all of a sudden was terrible, which, you know, a bit of a strange one. But, anyway, Kenobi is definitely the most notable, able to take on Vader again, A New Hope, and actually that duel I will make a video on, because I think that's quite an important duel that definitely is very underrated, and I'll explain why it's actually so tense. Another notable practitioner is Darth Treya, also known as Kreia, and she taught Nihilus, and she taught him Form 3, and she was great, and she actually said that Form 3 should not be underestimated, even though it's defenses, defensive, its purpose is amazing. We also have Luminara and Dooley, she was a practitioner, and we can see that when she actually does dual Ventress, and when she's on Geonosis, when we see a blocking blast of ults like a beast, and her defense is also very good. Maybe not at the same level as Kenobi's in my opinion, but definitely she's very good at Form 3. And finally, one more person I'm going to throw in here is Luke Skywalker, actually was a master of Form 3. And we see that when he duels Vader, and I actually think this is a smart move from Kenobi teaching him Form 3, because that's very important in a time where blasters are the main weapon, unless you so, well, so happen to take on Vader. And remember, Form 3, if it's going to counter Blaster Bolts, it's going to counter Lightning. Hint, hint. Now, as I said, Luke was a practitioner of this. We see him when he duels Vader on Bespin and Dark Side Cave, and again on Return of the Jedi. And so he was a master of Form 3. Overall, the main recap we're going to have of this, as we always recap these. And in this case, we're going to say, we're going to highlight really just how good Form 3 was. Even though it was heavily defensive, it was one of the best forms, if not the best. Maybe it wasn't as good in dueling because it prolonged the duel so much, and that really is not something you really want to be doing. So for all you fencers out there, try not to get stuck on the back line. But yeah, it was a great form. It was brilliant. Its defense was superb, even though, you know, it prolonged the duel and wasn't so great in that aspect. And yeah, it was great at dueling, don't get me wrong. But because it prolonged the duel, by quite a long time and relied on your opponent getting tired it's quite a difficult thing to do trust me you don't really want to be doing that but it was it was a great form and in all in all fairness it probably was the most effective really in the galaxy because of the amount of blasters being used i think being able to block the blaster bolts would be brilliant and the only form i could see it losing to in the end would be form 5 Xien not Gemso, well, yes, Gemso, I think it could, but I think Xi'an, when we get to it, we can talk about how that could be, you know, the one to upset Suresu's place at the top at the moment. But anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you learned something from this video, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. 
if you did enjoy it, feel free to like, and please just consider subscribing. But anyway, guys, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something about Form 3, Suresu. And yeah, I'll see you next time, and may the Force be with you.